Trans Europe has always been a festival for imagining European alternatives, imagining a progressive future and constructing that with citizens from across the continent and beyond. So the 15th edition here in Porto is taking as its slogan, decolonize, decarbonize, democratize. And Portugal is a superb location to think about each of those three things with the colonial relations that are so important in Portugal's history and in its present politics, in being in a country that is already experiencing the effects of climate change, uh, and in a country which has experimented recently with new forms of progressive governance. Coming to Porto, it's both a beautiful place and also a very appropriate uh, location for talking about an alternative Europe from below. The title of this year's edition is Three Imperatives, Decolonize, Decarbonize, Democratize. Unfortunately, we live in a time of new colonial wars, not only in Ukraine, but in other parts of the world as well. We live in a moment of climate crisis, and these two things combined with and exacerbated social inequality uh, lead to a crisis in democracy. So the festival is trying to face up to our contemporary predicament, to find ways of thinking about it, of acting on it, not only through traditional forms of political dialogue, by integrating cultural approaches, artistic approaches, different ways of thinking, different ways of acting, to try and attain the overall objective of Trans Europa, which is to imagine and enact an alternative European future.